Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what i like to do is show you how to write this trinomial as a product of its factors, which we call factoring. So to go ahead and do that, um, one thing that I like to do, especially when uh, we like factoring when a is equal to 1, uh, when I'm looking at the standard form of a quadratic. So we want this to be 1. In this case, we have it as negative 1. Um, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to factor out a negative 1 out of all the terms. So if I divide out a negative 1 from each one of my terms, I now will have a negative times x squared minus x minus 20. Okay? So you can see you can go back and you know, apply distributive property, multiply this negative 1 times each of these terms, and get back to our original problem. But again, we want to see, you know, is this, can we write it as a product of more factors? Um, can I factor this down again? And to do that, we can use uh, kind of like my x or diamond method, which really is just an x, where what we're going to do for that is to write it as a product of factors. We want to determine what two numbers uh, multiply to give us c, but then add to give us b. So what we're going to do is simply go ahead and take our value for c, which is going to be negative 20. And then we're going to take our b, which will be negative 1. I'm getting a, b, and c from here. And say, all right, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 20, but then add to give me negative 4? So notice that when we're multiplying and giving negative 20, one of the factors has to be negative. So let's go and look at the factors for uh, 20. Forget about the positive negatives for a second. I can do 20 times 1. I can do 10 times 2. And I could do 5 times 4. Now, again, when multiplying these, one of them has to be negative, right? It could be negative 20 or negative 1. It could be negative 10 or negative 2, negative 5 or negative 4. Um, but assume or think of one of them being negative. When you add them up, which is really kind of like subtracting, you're going to only have a difference of negative 1. Well, these two obviously don't have a difference of 1. 5 and 4 do have a difference of 1. So for me to get a difference of negative 1, that means my 5 would have to be negative and my 4 would have to be positive. And let's double check. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Negative 5 plus 4 is going to give me negative 1. So therefore, those are my two factors, which I'll just write in here, negative 5 and positive 4. Now, I continue with this outside. And then I just factor these down to x minus 5 times x plus 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write a trinomial as a product of its factors. Thanks.